Okay, so it's important with this one that we understand um, the graph sine makes. So I'm not the best at drawing these, but uh, sorry, cos makes, because obviously we're talking about cos in this question. I'm not the best at drawing these, um, but it starts at 1, goes to 0 there, goes down to minus 1, then goes up to 0, and then finishes at my, uh, a positive 1. And what we're doing here is we're doing uh, cos x, so that's the first thing that happens, but then we're going to times everything by 2. So we're doing the function, and then we're doubling it. So my blue line is going to be my answer line, and instead of 1, it's you're going to type in uh, cos 0 into your calculator, it's going to come out of 1, and then you're going to times it by 2. So we're going to start the graph here. Now, it will still be 0 at this point, because 0 times 2 is just still 0, but then it will go down to negative 2 here. Then same thing with here, it will still be 0. Let's go up to positive 2 here. So the blue one is my answer. And I, I wouldn't normally draw both graphs. I would just draw my answer. And you might notice here that when you have a number before the cos x or sin x or tan x, it just doubles it in the, uh, like, doubles it away from the x-axis. So anything above or below the x-axis doubles.